Hi. Well, let's get started with this. I um, wrote some things down because... Oh. Yeah. So I don't forget. Yeah. Mm -mm. yeah. Let's do this. So to get kick things off, um, started my senior year, taking less honors classes. I'm an honors pre-calculus, I'm an AP psych, I'm an AP French, and I'm in theory of knowledge. Those are my honors classes, so I'm really going easy on myself this year, as you can tell. <laughs> okay. Blah, 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 let's get to the good stuff, because all of this is not interesting. So, um, I know I'm not using the cool high definition thing, but it's kind of hard to get a hold of right now because mother doesn't like me to use it. So, there. Um, yeah, let's start. Okay, it's hurting me right now. Uh, about a month and a half ago, I started having stomach problems and it's kind of weird because I don't usually have stomach problems usually my problems occur like right here you know my lungs and everything because um, whenever I get sick for instance I get like extreme bronchial congestion I can't breathe I've always had um, lung problems because of the asthma and everything uh, you know inhaler you know and stuff like that so that and so that's usually the problem, and now it's not. Now it's something else. So I started having stomach problems like about a month and a half ago, and they were kind of spread out, you know. I have one symptom one at one part of the day, and another symptom at another part of the day. And, and, and that started to last a while. I was like, what's going on? And this was at the, this is at the end of the summer, so I'm like, okay, you know. Don't feel like going out, hanging out with my friends. Because my stomach hurts. And as time goes on, it gets worse. So I changed my diet completely. Um, I don't eat any fast food. I don't eat greasy. I don't eat spicy. I don't, I don't usually go to restaurants anymore. I don't eat uh, chips. I don't eat... Um, I don't drink soda, I, you know, I don't eat candy, so pretty much everything that my life has revolved around has been eliminated. And it's really good, too, because, you know, a healthy diet, I mean, psh, I'll probably lose, like, probably be, like, super skinny now, because, you know, I don't even, like, you know, throw junk food in my face anymore, I have to eat specific kinds of food, and it kind of sucks, but, you know, you know. I'm repeating myself. So, I changed my entire diet. However, it's gotten worse as time has gone by. My first two school was pretty awful because the entire time I was really sick. Uh, and it had been a month on my first day of school. It had been exactly a month by the time I hit my first day of school. And at first we related it to, you know, maybe it's the, it was that time of the month or something like that. That's what we were related to at first. But the thing was is that my end of the month, as soon as it ended, the stomach problems began and then the month went by. And it even made me late and I was like, oh my god, I'm pregnant, but I haven't had sex. What? Eventually, I had my time of the month. I know, I'm, you're welcome. Because it's what you all tune in for, right? To a girl talking about her period. Yes, anyway, uh, eventually had it, and my stomach problems have gotten worse, um, instead of the symptoms being spread out, they all come together at once for longer periods of the day, <clears throat> and lately, um, I was nauseous the entire time. But this past week, my stomach's kind of gone, given up on just being nauseous, and now I throw up, like, every day. And I have to be honest, it kind of sucks because, um, there was a day where I had to walk out of every single 
period because I had to throw up or I was just having major stomach problems. And I explained to my teachers what was going on, thankfully. So they're, they all understand there, that there is something going on, but it's still bothering me. I visited the doctor and I'm being, I'm getting medication for several different illnesses right now. Um, all of which are really bad, <laughs> but um, we're not entirely sure. And the medication isn't really working that well. Um, you know, this one medication got rid of, you know, certain symptoms, like, well, one symptom, you know, and so it's working in that way. The, um, other, the other medication isn't working at all, and then the other, other medication, well, that helped in some aspects. I don't know. I don't want to tell you what my medications are, because that's kind of personal, and yeah. Um, so, I just got blood, t I just took some blood tests, which kind of suck, because they took out a lot, and I'm really, really skinny, so lack, um, so when they remove a lot of blood, which is, like, a huge reason as to why I can't do blood drives, it's really, like, I'm just really disoriented afterwards, I know that was a pretty picture, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I'm not very good I, I can like I, I was watching her while she had the needle on me I'm like yeah look blood coming out my blood looks better than yours but you know I don't know <laughs> whatever <laughs> and so th there's nothing wrong with my blood but I still have like loads of tests to go through so we're gonna find out for sure what's going on hopefully because this is just this is kind of a nuisance and kind of like I'm kind of sick of throwing up and I'm kind of sick of feeling like this sick of being sick pretty much but I don't want to talk about this too long because I have way more things to talk about that are way more important and aren't even about me that's great well no they are I'll shut up now let's get on to politics well let's see as a big supporter for Obama I have to say, um, yeah, I, of course, support his choice for Biden. I have supported, um, as opposed to some, I have supported Obama, um, the entire time. Uh, I, I, I never really liked Hillary. She, it seemed like she was a little too in the middle for my taste, even though some people are saying that Obama's sort of going toward the middle due to the elections, but, um... I still completely support him, and I think he would make a great president. Um, on that topic, uh, let's go over to McCain and his choice of knowing this woman for only how long? I don't know. I hear it's just like a few hours, you know, calls her up on the phone and says, Hey, want to be my VP? And then she's like, yeah, sure. I'd love to. I got nothing else to do. These next four years, just the governor of Alaska, maybe for some time, you know. So that just says a heap of experience on her part. That's just she's totally set for the job. And uh, you know what's better than someone who part of the National Rifle Association and supports teaching gun safety to kids? Which probably includes handing a gun over to a kid and saying, shoot at that target over there. That's, you know, be a good Christian and shoot like a Christian would. That's why God created the rifle. Mm-hmm. So kids can shoot them. Plus, the fact that she opposes gay marriage. Of course, she's an ultra-conservative. I'm sorry, I'm like non-eloquent and plus 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 the fact that she completely opposes any health benefits to same sex couples you know oh I'm dying in the hospital that's too bad you're sorry you're gay it's not gonna work out you and your partner over there might as well go somewhere else be sick somewhere else because we're not gonna help you that's great yeah, um, very sympathetic creature, I can tell. Mm -hmm. 
I wear a backwards hat because I'm intellectual. I'm an intellectual. It's a noun. Thank you. Okay. Yes. This will earn me more respect. Everyone respects someone talking about politics in a backwards hat. I figure as much. I'm probably going to get a lot of beef about it, but that's even better. So, let's continue. So, Palin opposes health benefits to same-sex couples. That's great. She's also pro-life. Let's just stamp ultra-conservative on her forehead. Great. And her experience will... Here. You can't even see it because it's so low. Yeah, I have really long arms so I can practically reach the floor at this point. Uh, so... And she's a cough away from the presidency. That's great! I feel really confident about this. Great. 